with friends. Okay, uh, so today our group here, uh, we're going to talk about uh, Chinese medical halls or like what the group did before this, uh, Chinese herbal medicine. Uh, so uh, our, uh, our group consists of uh, Livia, Winter, Erica, Lo, uh, Kit, myself, William, Jane, and Chuck. Okay, uh, so yes, this is what uh, we're going to start. So found in Batalik Street, which is Kenking uh, Enterprise. The beginning of this um, this business is because uh, his father, the owner father, uh, Liu Xing, his father, uh, interested in Chinese medicine. So the original shop was just located uh, at the opposite street of a uh, current shop, which um, they um, they passed down to the his father passed down to his three uh, three sons which is including his, uh, himself. And due to some conflict, they, um, the, the owner decided to open his own shop. Next one. So the father is called Liu Xing, and is operating in uh, almost 50 years, and now is running in second generation, which is Jian Ying. And next, I'm going to talk about the comparative analysis. First of all, is the competitors of Chang Hua Medical Hall. Uh, the market nature is perfectly competitive as all the competitors are located at the same street, Lobo Hotel. And in, in order to stand out from the crowd, they need to be unique. Then there are three main competitors, which are Po On Tong Medical Hall, Hai O Enterprise Berhad, and also ASA International Limited Company. And then the first competitor is Po On Tong Medical Hall. It was established uh, 50 years ago and it mainly sells Chinese herbs and also provides services such as uh, medical consultation. And the product source is mainly from local and also overseas suppliers. The second competitor would be Hai O Enterprise. It was established 40 years ago and they covers a wide range of products such as Chinese medicines, teas, and wines. They manufacture and distribute their products all by themselves where they have their own research laboratory. The third competitor would be Yuan Sang International Limited Company which was established 130 years ago. They, they sell a wide range of products which includes Chinese herbs, Chinese 
proprietary medicines, food, and also supplements. And they also manufacture and distribute their products all by themselves. And next, I'm going to talk about the competitors of Kim Hing Enterprise. Uh, their market nature is oligopoly, as they are, the, they are one of the three survivors in Petaling Street, where they have their own fixed customers flow. The two competitors are Kenford Medical Spa and also Yongfong Thai Siria Merhai. The first competitor is Kenford Medical Spa. It was established 48 years ago and it was categorized as traditional Chinese pharmacy and it was newly renovated and fully equipped with air conditioners and lights. The second competitor is Yongfong Thai Siria Merhai. It was established 40 years ago and it was categorized as traditional healthcare therapy. It was also newly renovated just nowadays and fully equipped with air conditioners. Yeah. All right, so now uh, to compare between the two uh, different companies, uh, businesses that we talked about, so the first would be uh, Ching, um, what's it? Sorry. Ching, Wo. Ching, Wo. Ching Wo. So uh, in terms of pricing, uh, Ching Wo's uh, pricing is normally based on, uh, this is an example, so don't get distracted by it. Okay, so uh, Chengwo's pricing is done uh, you, uh, based on the market price. So they will look around and based on their competitor's price, that's the, that's the price that they will set. Okay, on the other hand, uh, for Kin King, uh, Kin King sets it based on the economical situation. So if they see that um, the, the economical situation isn't that good at the point in time, they would lower their price or if um, the economical situation of the, the, the uh, community at the point in time was good, they would uh, raise their price. Uh, so they will change based on uh, the health of the economy at that point in time. Alright, uh, next would be uh, advertising. So for Cheng Wo, what they do is they do try to use social media, uh, for example Facebook and Instagram to push um, their, their company to, to be more well known uh, to other people. So for example, when we went over there for our interview, they did ask us to take photos and uh, they encouraged us to take photos. They said, take whatever photo you want, just as long as you, but when you upload it, either tag our uh, tag our Facebook page or tag our uh, Instagram account. So that was one thing that they tried to do. Um, but on the other hand, uh, Kin, Kin Hing, uh, for Kin Hing, what they do is they use, um, they, they rely solely on the word of mouth of their customers. So that just prohibit them in some sense in terms of uh, advertising. Right, uh, next would be signature product. So for Ching Wo, uh, what they specialize is, is uh, they specialize in the whole area of uh, infertility uh, remedies. So this is targeted to young, uh, either young women or middle-aged women who want to get pregnant but cannot. So they do try to come up with different herb mixtures uh, to help uh, women overcome that. Okay. Uh, but for Kin Hing, uh, Kin Hing specializes on herbal soup mixes, uh, as what they said earlier. And this is something that they pushed uh, for families especially if they can just uh, take it as part of their meal. Instead of having to eat uh, medicine every day, but it, it becomes part of their uh, normal diet. Right? Uh, and next, quality of service. For Ching Wo, uh, it's a family-run business. So the owner, the current owner is the son, uh, but his dad is still around in the shop, together with the mom and his sister. So the four of them together, they work as um, as, as a team. Uh. And what this creates is a, whole, a very friendly and very familiar sense uh, when you go into that place. Uh, we felt that at the moment we walked in, uh, there wasn't a sense of boss and uh, employer, but everyone was so friendly, everyone took belonging of the, of the company that they worked in. Um, this contrasts uh, Slightly with uh, Kin Hing, uh, for Kin Hing Medical Hall, it's quite it's quite standard. It's like a own a, a boss, and then his employees under him. Um, they were friendly as well, but uh, there was uh, they were I would say they were a bit more efficient in the way they carry things. It was more on business. It's trying to get the deal done as fast as they can, and, and to some extent, this this uh, this is suitable to the lifestyle of a. Uh, uh, you found in the city where you want where your customers don't really want to spend too much time as well. They want to just get it done and then get uh, get a move on. So uh, there is a difference in that sense, right? Uh, so yeah, uh, so um, obstacles that companies face or people would face when they try to come into this line, um, there will be three main ones. Uh, the first is large capital. Um, to come into uh, this whole area of a Chinese medical hall, you must have a, a huge sum of. Uh, capital to buy, uh, to acquire first a shop, uh, to rent a place, or and then to hire people and hire professionals who know how to run this kind of business. For example, a Chinese physician, uh, you also need to acquire.
require all these kind of different herbs that you need. You need to have the, the facilities to store the herbs, and all these are not really cheap. Okay, something that, uh, another thing that you would need, uh, which, is, which normally becomes an obstacle, is the profession knowledge. Um, nowadays, you won't really get many young people, especially who are, um, who are familiar or who are adept in this whole area of traditional Chinese medicine. So this uh, does create a lack of manpower in this sense. A lot of times, um, company, uh, Chinese medical do close down because they don't have a successor to, 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 to take over the business. Okay? Uh, and the last thing will have to be the whole area of reputation. When you come up uh, in this whole area of Chinese medical hall uh, or Chinese medicine, trust and uh, reputation is very important. Normally, the longer someone goes to your store, uh, the more loyal they will be, the more comfortable they will be with the remedies that you give. Because uh, to some extent, there is no certificate to back them up. There is no certificate saying that this remedy would work. They are just thinking what the, what the Chinese physician can do is suggest what might work for you. And so there's a whole great, there's a whole deal of trust there. There's a great deal of trust, um, which a new business might not be able to build from the start. Uh, so these are the main uh, three obstacles that a company or a business or individual would face when they try to come into this uh, field. Okay. Uh, so now I'll be talking about the similarities and differences between the two business. The uh, in both Chengbo Medical Hall and Kingping Enterprise. They both share the similarities in three categories, which is the first main product, second current branches, and third the atmosphere of the shop. The both uh, business have featured the soup, the herbal soup uh, satchel as their main product, and they don't have any branches uh, currently because uh, they haven't uh, they, they haven't planned to expand their business. In Chengo Medical Hall, they uh, plan to uh, have their first branch after the uh, uh, after uh, renovating their, their current shop. While in uh, Kim Hing Medical uh, Kim Hing Enterprise, they do not have a plan to uh, expand their business. Next, the atmosphere of Chengo Medical Hall and Kim Hing Enterprise is uh, relatively. Relatively uh, modern, they uh, newly renovated and uh, equipped with the air conditioner and modern light fixture. Next, let us uh, look at the differences between the two business. The first one is the difference between the history of Chengu Medical Hall and King He Enterprise. Uh, the founder of Chengu Medical Hall is uh, Mr. Our uh, Mr. Lee Ko, uh, Mr. Lee Tak Fong, uh, which is from Guangzhou, China, and uh, the uh, he is the owner's great grandfather. He started the business in 1933 and was forced to shut down due to the uh, chaos of World War II. And the current owner, which is the fourth generation, Mr. Lee Sivan. Uh, he inherited the shop by his father and insists on uh, uh, and insists on following the philosophy of his great grandfather, which is uh, to use the uh, junior products only. While in uh, Kim Hing Enterprise, uh, the, the founder of Kim Hing Enterprise is Mr. Liu. Uh, Mr. Liu Xing, he started the business 50 years ago and uh, he started the business 50 years ago uh, because of his passion towards the Chinese herbals. Uh, the business is previously a uh, partnership with three brothers but now uh, uh, but is now uh, handled by, by the owner. Next, the difference between the location of the two business. Uh, Chengu Medical Hall is located at uh, Campbell Street, Georgetown, Penang, which is relatively a quiet and tranquil place, while um, King King Enterprise is located at Petaling Street, Kuala Lumpur, which is a more busier uh, place city as compared to uh, Campbell Street in Georgetown, Penang. Okay, so next difference will be from the numbers of workers. Uh, for Chengmo, there are seven employees, and then five of them are including the owner himself and his family members, and the other two are foreign workers. For
for Kinping, Kinping has four local employees, which are uh, the owner himself and also his family members. Next we need the future plan. The future plan of Chengwo is long-sighted, which they plan to open their first branch after settling down from the renovation of the current shop. And for Kinping, Kin, uh, the future plan is short-sighted. For next difference is a uh, targeted market. The targeted market of Chengwo is mostly consists of married women, senior citizens, foreigners, as well as locals. For Kinping, Kinping mostly targeted on uh, on old customers such as mothers and senior citizens. For media, uh, Chengwo advertise their very own shop through their own websites and social networks such as Facebook. And for Kinheng, Kinheng uh, do not advertise their own shop. For combating competition, Kinheng, Chengwo, throughout the time, Chengwo improved on Chinese herbal formulas, which already achieved 500 of different formulas designed to cater the treatment and also help food for community. For Kinheng, Kinheng only focused on the supply for old customers. will be the reasons of starting up this business. The reason of starting up this business of Chengwo is because of the market needs and to obtain the qualified knowledge. For Kin Heng, Kin, uh, the owner of Kin Heng has a strong passion towards the Chinese medicine. That's why they started up this business. Uh, the next difference will be product source. The owner of Chengwo obtains their products mostly from the local uh, suppliers. And for Kin Heng, Kin Heng uh, the owner of Kin Heng obtains their product mostly from other countries such as China. The next will be uh, the annual revenue of both shops. The annual revenue for Chengguo is 60,000 ringgit Malaysia, while for Kin Heng will be lesser, which is 40,000 uh, ringgit Malaysia. And now, uh, talk, talk to you about the recommendation. Recommendation basically means what we think these two Chinese medical could improve on in order for them to gain more customers. So, firstly, I'll talk about Chengwo Medical, which is located at Georgetown, Penang. Currently, they are selling Chinese herbal medicines only, but we think nowadays most of the Chinese medical hall not only sell Chinese medicine, but they also sell some other products like Western medicines and daily goods. Therefore, we think Chengmo Medical Hall should improve on their choices of product and sell more different products in order for them to gain more customers. Mm, besides, we think Chengmo Medical Hall should, should, should probably consider of expanding their business. Currently, their growth of the business is quite stagnant and their, and their owner didn't really think about expanding their business. But suggest that they could think about expanding their business through opening through open some branches in in some places which lack of Chen, lack of Chinese medical hall. With new branches they would get more income. So for Kinting Medical Hall, they have three main things they should improve on. Currently they are the American Hall are just providing, are just selling Chinese herbal medicine. But KL people are very busy and their time people are very packed. So normally KL people prefer a medical hall which provides medical consultation also. So we think Kinting Medical Hall should think of provide medical consultation at the same time. Um, besides, Kinting Medical Hall are not really good in advertising. They don't have any social network page like Facebook page, Twitter account, and Instagram account. Um, therefore, we think they should try to advertise their business through social network in order for them to promote their business to the younger generation. Last but not least, their product stores are from China. China's products are more expensive compared to local products. Therefore, we think they should try to get local products 
in order for them to cut down the cost and gain more profits. Uh, that's